this production. All right, you see who said that is? The Master Don himself, Big Van Vader. Now this set is for Dynamite's Vader, which is better than the, the end game joint we had on 13, if I do say so myself. And yes, Vader will be in my universe this year. He'll be on my, my old school show. Now, some of y'all young cats might not know too much about this dude, other than you saw Heath Slater job to him. If you don't, do some research. One of the best big men to ever do it. Now, me personally, I didn't care for WWF Vader. Vince Barrett. Come on, man. Freaking Vader. You know what I'm saying? And Vince, Vince Barrett. Him. But because Vader wasn't a Vince McMahon, a WWF creation. We all know how to go. Me personally, you know, my earliest memories of Vader was WCW. Power Hour, you know what I'm saying? Remember them? When he come out there and set his headgear on the ramp and it'd be smoking and whatnot. And even when I was younger, you know, got to see some of his work in Japan because these little mom and pa movie stores we used to have would have VHSs. I know y'all young dudes ain't going to be knowing nothing about no VHS tapes. Y'all don't know nothing about that. <laughs> but they would have some of them, and we get to see it from time to time. And now, you know, of course, with the internet, I can go watch whatever match I want to. I like Vader and WCW. His WCW championship run and all that. You know, we had Harley Race with him and whatnot. But I personally prefer Vader in Japan. Vader was guy. He was the real Godzilla in Japan, man. <laughs> they loved him. I really enjoyed the match style and, and the work over there. You know, the stiff strikes and he he had matches with the gods of wrestling from Japan. I mean, Kawada, Masawa. He he had matches with all of them. Inoki. Loved it, you know what I'm saying? If y'all don't know nothing about that, hadn't seen it, man, YouTube it. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. And, of course, I remember uh, Vader and Bam Bam Bigelow match. Two of the best big men to ever do it. Them, them dudes, just to be that size is crazy. First and foremost, Vader doing moonsaults was hilarious. Dude that big, I mean, doing a complete moonsault, not just a backwards crossbody like gold does be doing nowadays but big joker did a full moon so you know vader was that dude powerful agile he had it all he was and of course the mask and the headdress all that together yeah one of the greats definitely definitely now as far as this move set goes for the vader bomb i used the jackknife you see the tiger bomb in there and he did that to Misawa. I had to use it. I could not use it. I had to. One-handed choke slam, of course. Samoan drop, of course. World's strongest slam. You know, I always use that in place of that front slam. Short arm clothesline. See the brain bust in there. He did that to Misawa as well. Now, if you get on into this set and you get down to the diving attacks, you're going to be like, why you got a leap of faith in an elbow drop? Why you didn't use the body splash and, you know, the diving body press? Because. The slingshot body press is a finisher, and you know he won plenty, many a match with that. So that's a finisher, the moonsault's a finisher. The down body splash is a sig, and the diving body press is a sig. Now, had I used the second rope body press as a sig, and then used, you know, just a regular body press off the top rope, how that would make no sense. You know, you got a more powerful, impactful move in the regular part of the move set and a weaker one in a, in a SIG or finisher place. So that's why it's set up the way it is, man. You can't have a, a move, a regular move in your set, you know, canceling out your signature, your finisher. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> like, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll let your boy, baby. Keep it real. Live righteous.